Hi Bob. Uh, first off, I want to apologize if I'm sniffing a bit during this video. I've got a slight congestion issue. But other than that, everything should be fine. Today's video is going to cover assignments. How to read them, how to take advantage of them, and where to get them. If I wind up making it sound complicated, I apologize in advance. Uh, first, I'd like to point out these bars on the right side of the overview tab. Each of these bars is a category of duty officer assignments, also called commendations. Here you can see how much experience you've gained towards the rewards of each tier of these categories. So if you click on one, uh, let's grab military, you can see the perks you gain by achieving each rank. Uh, and you get experience per category depending on how many duty officer mi missions you finish in that category. An interesting thing to note is that the dipl diplomatic commendation category provides transwarp abilities to your ship. So, uh, let's go to the meat of the issue now, the assignments tab. Now you can either navigate to it using the button at the top here or you can hit the find assignment button here. So you can have 20 assignments running at the same time. Uh, there are some assignments that don't count against that limit, but they're few and far between. Sick bay assignments are one such thing. Over here you can see I have seven in progress and I have recently completed 14, and that comes out to a good old total of 21. I have a sick bay mission going, and they don't count against that limit of 20 uh, because they are automatically assigned, and I don't have a say in the matter, so that's why they did that. Um, you can see different lists of assignments on the... Uh, the left side of the screen here. Uh, current sector tab here gives you a list of assignments based on your current location. Uh, this also gives you a different list depending on sometimes on the social zone you're in. So if you're in orbit over Earth or on Earth's space dock and even at Starfleet Academy. The current sector tab changes entirely for every sector every four hours and there's a timer down here in the lower left hand corner of the screen that'll tell you when that's going to happen next so i have an hour 40 minutes on the personal tab here you see another list of duty officer assignments these assignments follow you everywhere and rotate uh every hour again there's a timer at the lower left here to tell you when that's going to happen and then on the duty officer assignment menu here, there is a third list of assignments you can get. If you navigate to the department heads tab at the top here, you can assign your bridge officers to give you duty officer uh, recommendations. However, if you click the assignments button next to them, you get a whole other set of assignments to do. And these assignments rotate about every 20 hours, but there's no timer for them. So. I don't know necessarily about that 20 hour time limit, I just did a little research and that's what told me. Uh, so if we go back to the list of assignments here, uh, you can see that this is where the categories come in. You have science, engineering, military, medical, what have you. And that there's, uh, each of these missions have a rarity index associated with them, so if they don't say anything, they're common. This one says uncommon, this one's rare. Occasionally you'll find a very rare, but <laughs> they're very rare. Uh, so each of these missions has a completion time right here that starts counting down as soon as you've allocated your resources. Also, the difference between these gold cards here and the blue ones are... Uh, the, the gold ones tend to have higher rewards, but that's because they're asking for a specific thing that came with a uh, one of the more recent expansions to the game. So this particular mission is gold because it's asking for telekinesis from a duty officer. And telekinesis, um, mind, I've got about 400 officers. I only have three guys who have telekinesis. and They're special. So, so also this one gives higher rewards typically than the blue missions because of that restriction. So when you select a particular assignment, you can see the details of the assignment. I've been alluding to that stuff on the right the whole time. Uh, you see the portrait and then the name of the assignment along with a little blurb about the purpose of this particular assignment. This one wants to test sensor adjustments designed to detect telekinetic vibrations. 
uh, under all of that is a list of baseline rewards that this assignment gives you with a successful outcome. And there's a bar here that says quality reward bonus. There's a... Uh, excuse me. Uh, there is a... Uh, Uh, this is uh, directly related to the duty officers that you assign. So if you want to during your own time, you can mouse over it and see specifically what it says, or you can just let me gloss over it a bit. Um, so here, we have a pie chart. You want predominantly green or blue on the pie. Okay? Orange means failure, or, you know, some equivalent. Uh, disaster means critical failure, and sometimes disaster doesn't show up. Sometimes critical success doesn't show up. Uh, and uh, green is success, and of course blue is critical success. As you assign your duty officers to missions, you can actually watch these rates of success and failure fluctuate. So when you get a success, you get these listed rewards. When you get a critical success, they increase the rewards by the critical reward bonus. And this critical reward bonus goes up and down depending on the rarity of the assignment uh, or the complexity. Like if I click over here, you see it's 100%. Click over here, it's 150. If we go to here, that's 200%, also 200%. So, cool. Um, failure means you don't get anything for your time. And critical failure can sometimes mean casualties among your crew. So there's a casualty risk notification right here. Uh, this one says low. Uh, it can go, it can change depending on the mission. Uh, there we go. Extreme. None. Low. Most of the time it's low or none. Uh, but occasionally you get an extreme. What this means is that it tells you the chance that your duty officers can get killed or injured. Well, I should really mention that only common duty officers, or the, the no border, uh, the white duty officers, can actually get killed on assignments. Uncommon and higher, they just get injured and they can spend 8 to 20 hours in sickbay. Uh, this will automatically create an assignment that doesn't count against your limit of 20 assignments at a time mentioned that earlier. Uh, the better your chances of success and critical success, the less you really have to worry about this casualty risk. Although sometimes on a success, you can still get an injured officer. So the benefit to a sick bay assignment, though, uh, is, is that you get medical accommodation experience. So it's not all bad. In fact, I actually have a sick bay assignment right here. One of my guys got injured on a successful mission, and uh, he it's going to give me 52 medical experience in another 10 hours or so. Yay. But, because he's purple, I get a quality reward bonus. Yay! Ooh, excuse me. Uh, now, each assignment has their own requirements. Like you see over here, there's some commodities and three duty officers. Or down here, two duty officers. Or, uh, let's go to Haggle for Jevonite. 2,000 credits. Oh, and you can also see here that the scale here has changed its language from critical success, success, failure, disaster to extremely profitable, profitable, unprofitable, and ambushed. Uh, excuse me. The, uh, sometimes these missions will require commodities. These assignments will require commodities, data samples, consumables, credits, you know, other items like, uh, Romulan ale or, you know, uh, what have you. Uh, excuse me. And uh, they typically require one or mo more duty officers to start up. Uh, so here's where those traits and duty officer specializations I mentioned in the previous video really come in handy. Uh, if you look here, you can see these are the requirements for the assignment. If you want to maximize your chances of extremely profitable, you need to find a duty officer that meets one or all of these uh, uh, traits. So they're looking for a telepathic, cunning, and unscrupulous guy. 
awesome. If you want to increase your chances of being just successful, there's the profitable tab where it'll say success. Uh, come on. I'm looking at the trade listing. I shouldn't do that. Nope, it's in colony. There we go. So here you see critical success. You have some traits that contribute to critical success. You have some specializations. Sometimes traits also contribute here to increase your chances of normal success or the green. And then you have some traits that increase your chance of failure and your chance of disaster. You want to stay away from the chances of failure and disaster, and you want to gravitate towards the success and critical success. Many duty officers lend themselves towards some of the some or all of these through their trait system. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you planning out a mission. First, I actually need to uh, uh, finish a mission here. Uh, as you can see down here, I can even fail a mission even with good officers. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'll talk about that in a minute. I need to clear room. Okay, so first, you can start planning the assignment by either double-clicking the assignment card or just clicking the Plan Assignment button down here. Now, I'm going to mess around a little bit to show you what I mean by certain things. So, if you send a common guy on the mission, nothing changes. If he has no traits, if he has nothing, if he's not keyed up for it, these chances of success and failure stay as is. If you send a common with a red here, the chance of ambush goes way up. And nothing else changes. Well, they change, but mostly to accommodate the fact that the chance of getting ambush goes way up. You sent the wrong guy. If you send someone who has none of the traits and they're just uncommon, watch the pie chart. It shifted in favor of success. Rarity not only improves your chances of critical success and success, but also improves your quality reward bonus here. And we can do we can see the same thing with a rare guy, and it's even more drastic. And if we come down here, we can probably even see it with there we go, a purple guy. Even more drastic, and 20%. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tailor this mission for success, this assignment for success. We're going to go to Specializations. This is looking for Quartermasters and Traders. So that's what I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up Quartermaster, and I'm going to select Trader. So I'm looking for these guys. I'm not interested in sending commons or uncommons, maybe even rares. So what I want to do is, well, actually, let's look for traits first. So we're looking for someone who's telepathic. Oh, it's overriding my choice of profession here. So let's just do very rare. And they still got some kinks to work out. So you notice here we have, we've pared down our list of almost 400 duty officers, and we've got three duty officers that seem to be good for this job. They're all very rare. They all have some green, and one of them, unfortunately, has some red. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to send this guy on it, and we'll see what happens over here. He has a profitable quality about him. Check that out. 1% chance of being ambushed, 13% chance of unprofitable unprofitable results. And the rest of it, awesome. That's great. Now, let's take a look at this trader. Let's see what happens if we send him along. You assign a guy by either double-clicking on him or selecting him and clicking the Assign Selected Officers button. To remove them, you can either double-click them or click the Unassigned Selected Officer button. So we watch, look, it's a 20% overall chance of failure with a 15% chance of ambush. That's horrible. So let's send this guy. He looks like he's got it going on. He's a Ferengi. This is a trade mission. Awesome. He's built for this job. Bam. 5% chance of failure. That's maximizing for success. You got to look at these traits. You got to match the green words without matching any of those reds. That will get you a good assignment done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this assignment. And it, uh, you'll get fly text. It says started new assignment, haggle for Jevonite, well, or whatever the name of the mission is. If you go over here to the in progress tab, you can see all the way up here, because it's the shortest duration mission, shortest duration missions go to the top of the timeline. 
uh, or they fit in wherever they are with the rest of these missions that you've already started. And you can see over here, it's counting down for me. Here are my chances of success, rewards. I can abort this assignment at any time to get that duty officer back. I can also look at all my other assignments to see what's going on over here. Further, uh, there is something I want to point out. If you see a little red box, like an exclamation point with a cube next to it, this means you're missing material components for this. You don't have it in your inventory or in your personal bank. If you go here, the triangle, the warning sign, means you don't have enough room to make that assignment. You have 20 assignments already made. You can't send any more people out. You got too many people out. Or too many things getting done. So clear up some assignments before, you know, this tells you you need to clear out your completed tab if you have any missions completed. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit up my completed tab and we're going to see how much cool stuff I get. And if you watch over here, you'll see the rewards pile up as I click through them. But you can see over here, this is a success on stage telekinetic performance art. It is a rare mission. It's giving me 50 dilithium, 687 development XP, 746 expertise, and 855 skill points, which, because I'm maximum level, turn into expertise. Excuse me. It tells me a little blurb about what happened through success. Oh, my guys didn't win, but they did place in a... Per well, that's the wrong one. Jeez. <laughs> the Parisi Squares Tournament is all the way down here. I don't know why it did that. Uh, stage telekinetic performance art. I'm getting a pile of stuff here. The exhibition was embraced by your crew, and I click. You can either double-click the assignment here or click Collect Rewards down here. And if you see down here, I get Expertise, Development, Expertise, experience and dilithium ore. Over here I'm getting fleet marks which are a form of resources for contributing to your fleet, uh, your guild as it were. And I'm just gonna click through these and as you can see the rewards are piling up down here, cumulative. Uh, critical success on this espionage report got me a hundred, that's great. Uh, and then I got another success here. Haggle for ba Bajoran Batarat Incense. Profitable. You know, I just sent a guy out to get some. Uh, Jevonite. Um, so, it was profitable. Meaning, I'm going to get five Batarat Incense. Turnover confiscated countryman. 2,000 dilithium right here. There we go. Uh, here's a gold card. Look at that. 1688, I do believe, is what that says. Yep, 1688 medical experience, and then another 1728 espionage, and 608 espionage, and 488 military, and then 687 development. So the rewards pile up, and you can get considerable amounts of stuff out of this. Now, any stuff I left out, uh, I will be happy to cover in the next video if I remember to do so. But uh, that's pretty much the assignment system in a nutshell. Uh, you just you need to maintain a diverse pool of duty officers to ensure that you can meet all the challenges that come up to you. Just like that. Maximizing your success. Here it's taking up some astrometric probes. Start assignment. That simple. Straight up. Just maximize your success using all the tools at your disposal. And if you don't have the guys, do the best you can with what you do have. If uh, there's a good chance of casualty, I would recommend not sending common officers on those missions unless you're insured success. So, uh, Bob, I think that's about it for today. Uh, like I said earlier, if I missed anything, it'll probably be covered next video. So, good luck.